145 pounds, we've got hashtags going all over the place. If you're not careful, you're going to be playing tic-tac-toe before too you long. You might step on one. How about 145, Sean? Break it down! This is a little history about wrestling for you youngsters here. The state tournament started about ah, 70 plus years ago by Neat. Cleveland West yeah. Tech, I believe, or Cleveland yeah. West. John Hay. Up there in the, the Cleveland area, and it was an invitation only. So you could be the best kid in the state, but if they didn't invite you to the state tournament, you were going to be a state champion. And when the tournament started back in 40, whatever, 42, whatever it was, they only cared about one thing. Who was going to be a champion? They didn't care about consolation. They didn't care about second, third, or fourth place. All they did is bring all the best kids here. We want to see who the best kid in the state is. So they came up with the system that when you lost, the guy that beat you had to make it to the finals. So they wrestled the whole top bracket, championship bracket, before any consolation. And then if the guy who beat you made it to the finals, they would have two separate three-man brackets. I know it's crazy. Three-man? Yeah. Three-man. Three -man. Two separate three-man brackets to decide third through six. But then wrestling evolved and became a bigger sport. They decided this was ridiculous and it went to, you got to make it to the semifinals and eventually it's a double elimination. If we went back to the way our old ancestors thought <laughs> and simply just cared who the champion was going to be, there really is only one question here. Is Kate Kowalski back? And with that thought, let's look at the board. 145 pounds, field of 16. We're going right here to these eight. I'm going hashtag here. I think that's going to be a great match. Guess what? I also like down here, things get crazy at the district tournament. That's all I'm going to say. Things get crazy at the district tournament. Okay. No. No, he that said. That is not a hashtag. Actually, I really like the pairings here. I think if I had to see these guys, Kate Kowalski is clearly the number one here. You got state qualifier, state placer, and then state alternate. So we get champ, alternate, qualifier, placer. So that's perfect to me. And I think Max Wright would probably be the five, six guy. So him going against a three there, I think is fair bracket there. But we will start in the bottom since Ooh. that is easy. Although, someone tried to hashtag it. Cody Nostein, I really like him. I think he's wrestling at a better level than he ever has is. He's coming in good. He just won the sectional tournament. I think this is a very favorable pairing. Willie Plazar isn't something to sleep on. This guy's pretty solid. I get a lot of people telling me, like, hey, man, watch out for Willie Plazar from multiple coaches in the area. But I really think Cody Nostein is on a mission this year. I'm really high on him, and I got him getting out here to the semifinals. All right, how about this one? What's the, what's the answer to our question? Is he back? I thought to myself, regardless of what happened in the sectional tournament, unless something crazy happened, and yeah. maybe, I mean, we keep hearing he's injured, maybe he made it to the sem uh, finals and then decided just to forfeit and take it to Derby, but he did wrestle and ended up winning. I still think this is a good draw for him, even if he is trying to get his legs on anything from missing some time or if he's still a little uh, banged up there. This is a really good spot for him, and I think he'll advance fairly easily through this quarter, so we'll have Kate Kowalski. Kowalski. Returning state champ, Kowalski. Boom, how about Cisco Grenier? Grenier, you know, if you watched the show last year, you know we've always been a big Grenier fan. Just love the way this kid wrestles. Constant movement, constant motion. Just a great kid to talk to. Phenomenal kid. I can't go against him here. I think this is a great draw for him. I mean, he did the dirty work himself with beating Miller, so he kind of gets an easier quarter than Miller's going to get, so yeah. I have no problem with having uh, Trey Grenier come out here. Right, Miller, go! If Wright is ever going to up in Miller, this is the spot. Tanner Miller is going to be a big kid on day two. And we talk about it a lot, but it really does come into play. I mean, Tanner Miller cuts, he just is great at cutting weight. I mean, I think this kid can go longer without water than a camel. <laughs> I mean, he can just get down. To, I mean, if they told him to get down to 32, he probably could do it. And then the next day, he'd be 170. So this really is kind of a tricky spot for him. Maybe he's thinking, I'm going to beat this kid, then I'm going to get revenge on Grenier. So he may be looking ahead, mm -hmm. which does happen. So it might get tricky. But I'm still going Tanner Miller here. I like okay. this guy. I'm going Tanner Miller here. I like it. Let's get over there to the consolation bracket, which we now have, although we didn't before. We now have. Let's talk. Um, switch it over. Harding's going to be up top. But I'm Harding up top. We'll be wrestling Sam Bean. Bean, Bean from Upper Arlington. Yeah. <laughs> Then he'll be wrestling, and then the bottom here we'll have Willie Plazar yes. and Cisco. <laughs> Plazar, 
Cisco. Oh, is that right? Right. Right. Cisco. No, that would be right here, right? Cisco. Yeah. Gotcha. Should, that, should we put a hashtag on that? Man, I'll tell you what. We got these are right. These are there. I'm telling you right now, that's a that's gonna be a great man. We haven't gone back this far too often. And at 145, well, they're that. It's you that know, stat. Maybe I put too much weight. Weight. In weight. Or did you just want to say that, Joe? No, maybe okay. I put too much weight in weight because when I thought about this, I think Max Wright and Willie are pretty much on the same skill level. Yeah. But Wright, I think, is kind of small for 45. I mean, he's got Brosco down at 38, so yeah. it kind of forced him up to a weight. I know he tried to make 32 and it didn't work out, which, you know, sometimes it doesn't. But Willie's coming down for 52, so you got a guy going up and yeah. a guy coming down. I thought, man, Usually phases the guy. Yeah, it really just favors the heavier guy. And you get like an uh, overtime match, some guy weighing 10 more pounds on his land on you, you start to get tired. So I think right. the weight will be the difference in that match. Okay. And I got Willie players that are coming out of here. And then I got Willie continuing to win Whoa, yeah. over Cisco. And we're going to have Harding on top beating Bean. And a great match that was the semifinal of the All North Tournament. <whistles> that was really a crazy match. They're really That yeah. was like a bad officiated match. Like it was like, that was no near fall. And then the same situation was near fall. And I thought Matt Stout's eyes were going to pop out of his head. He's like, you are kidding me. There is no way that is near fall if that was not. That, this really hashtag this match. We're going to go from a great match in this round to a great match in this round. That really is really a good match. But Hardy's been wrestling well as well. Then boys need opponents. Let's get over here. Let's talk semifinals. Semifinals. We'll start in the bottom because I right. think it's a little bit more of an easier choice here. Although I think Cody Nussan is wrestling a high level. Kate Kowalski, you got to knock him off before you don't have him ranked on top. And gotcha. I know sometimes people get on me about my rankings. What my rankings are are different from what I would pick. I mean, sometimes if a guy's a two-time champ, you know, some, somebody else is wrestling well, you really just got to go with the two-time champ in a right. ranking until he gets beat. And I'm not saying that is the situation, but Kowalski is coming on steam. I think he won the tougher of all sectionals. Yeah. By, well, you know, with Grenier, Miller, and Willie Plays are there. And right he wins. on. So until he gets beat, he should be considered the top guy, which I think he is anyway. Up top, you know, this rematch. is a match. This is a rematch, a match that was 5-2. I mean, Miller got in a deep a couple times and couldn't finish. But that's Trey Grenier's strength. I, I mean, in our district, in any way, when you get on his leg, he jams his hip into you. He's looking for the angle. He is really hard to score on here. So, I mean, in a match that really didn't give up any points to Tanner Miller, it's kind of hard to pick against him in this situation. So at this match, I'm going to go with... Tanner Miller. Whoa! I'm a flip flopper guy. If you watch the show, you know I'm a flip flopper guy. Tanner Miller is going to take this match more seriously. Maybe he was looking ahead to Kate Kowalski back in the mm -hmm. sectional tournament. I think he'll be focused. I think Billy will have him ready to go, and I'm going with Tanner Miller in this spot. There All you right. go, Donna. Now we got some loose. We got some guys coming down. We got Grenier down here now after that loss, and we have Notstein right here, Sean. Break it down. Well, I'm going to take the path of re least resistance here, and I'm going to go to the top because I like Trey Grenier. I, although Harding had a fabulous season. I think last year he was a district qualifier, got fourth, and went 0-2, but he's really blossomed a lot here. But Trey Grenier is just on a different level. He's got through his injuries. He's ready to go, and he's going to get a second trip back to the state tournament here. At the bottom, guy, I really don't know. We talk about how hard it is to beat a guy two times in the same yeah. time, and I'm really a flip-flopper on these matches. If you guys watch, I flip these guys around now. This really is a match I just don't know. But at the end of the day, I like Cody Nostein. I think he's improved more than he has. I mean, just improved so much. Right. I'm still going to go with Nostein in this situation, a match that could absolutely go either way. And if this match has scored us in the end of the first period, it could go to the coin flip for ultimate overtime It's that close. So you get your choice. I got you. Second period. I got you. Down. Yes. Down. Plays are. All right. Spinals are set. First, third, fifth. Go. Plays are does rebound. Gets gets fifth here. Gets the state order in a spot. Double cough, man. I like Cody Nostein here to get third. I'm going to take him over here. And then in the championship, Miller, high octane guy. Kate Kowalski trying to still get I mean, that, that, that pace. What's, yeah. what's your say there? Create a pace that makes it like something like that. You have this pace. Slow story. the match down. No. No, no not even a pace story. But anyway, these guys wrestled last year in the sectional finals. Yeah. And I think Kowalski beat them by one or two points. It was close. It was very close. Any closer, you'd have to win the match. You would have to win the match. But we've already used that. Yeah, okay. So Kate Don't Kowalski, watch that video. Kate Kowalski is our guy here. We're gotcha. going to put him on top. 
and I think he'll be your district champion for the second year in a row at the same weight. Boom. Kate Kowalski, Tri-Valley is the champ. Miller coming in second, Notstein third, you're near fourth, and then we've got Plazar and Harding rounded out for fifth and sixth at 145 pounds, and now you are inside the circle.